There it is. So, here we are again. Installment number three for the 401 Svart Pillin and custom mods for very little money. Check this stuff out now. We're going to start with the windscreen here because it is brand new. So, let me just show you what this looks like. And possibly you can see the brackets I've made in here. These are handmade brackets, painted black, bolted directly underneath the instrument pod. Give you a good idea there what it looks like. I wanted the custom cafe look and I think I spent a total of about ten dollars on those parts. Now the rest of the bike I think if you remember from the last video, I had stripped off all of the uh, stickers off the frame to clean this thing up and I also put some black tape around the yellow marks on the bike so I could clean it up even more. I was trying to pare down and have a real custom look here. Dark, lean, mean, and bad to the bone. I don't think I said in the last one I actually removed the passenger pegs and I also trimmed the chain guard for looks. Everything on this bike is mainly done for looks. Now to the other part here. The rear fender. Okay, so I had uh, sorry about that. I had actually removed it for my last video because I was having a problem with the plate. So and I liked my fender. I put the fender back on and I had this incredible idea to trim it a little bit more and then mount the plate directly on the back of the fender. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like here. So we can see how she's mounted under there. There's the plate. Oh, you'll also notice I've got some really small signals now. I changed those also. Along with the last one where I put on the Vit Pillin seat for an even cleaner look. Now you can see here how it looks uh, blacked out. I also blacked out the motor mounts because they were sticking out like a sore thumb and I really didn't like that. So that's been blacked out. So you can kind of see the custom look here. No foot pegs, no stickers, blacked out motor mount, reflectors off the forks, windscreen. Let me give you a different view of this windscreen. It's pretty trick actually. So there is the cafe windscreen. And in my testing, I actually had it sunk in about three-eighths of an inch farther towards the seat but uh, I found that when it was out just a hair because of the air going underneath I'm gonna guess it smoothed it out quite a bit so I left a little gap in the front and I also wanted to make it look like it had a little eyebrow there on the top although if you look here it's not obstructing the light at all. Good shot there. We also have no mirrors. I think you'll notice that from the last. We do have a bar end mirror that's foldable. Really wanted to show you guys all this little stuff so that you could do your own bike for very little money. <clears throat> Rear fender cost me next to nothing due to the fact that I had a used fender in my shop and I just made that fit. I also spent maybe $10 in parts for the windscreen. So I'm also going to try to get a better sound on the exhaust because I also did that. So I'm going to start this uh, guy up here, see if we can get some tone. 
Here it goes. I'll also show you the uh, mini signals here. You'll like those. to get a little bit of tone here because every time I do this for some reason I don't get the sound correct so if you miss the picture for a second at least you'll hear what the exhaust sounds like that came out. One last walk around. I'll also show you in the front how the little eyebrow looks. Pretty cool. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask and please subscribe because I will be doing even more to this little guy, believe it or not. So there it is. Coolest of the cool. More fun than anything I have had to date. Thanks, and have a good one.